Historically, why does it take so long for someone to get diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder? There's a couple of potential reasons. Number one, there's not a lot of specific training in OCD in graduate school. There's general mental health training and general therapy training. Number two, people aren't familiar with the even type of therapy that you could provide for OCD. So without that familiarity, you may not be on the lookout for OCD. Also the notion that this is maybe just anxiety. So there's a misdiagnosis that happens happens very often for people and we might think that it's generalized anxiety disorder or maybe panic or just some kind of phobias or things of that nature. We hear terms like germaphobe instead of thinking of that really as obsessive compulsive disorder which is really what it is. Number four, because there's not a lot of specialists out there and people who recognize it, it just can go unnoticed. And there also is probably a very large conglomerate of people who treat OCD located in major cities, but not a lot in rural areas as well too. So if you go to your local therapist in your rural area, you're not going to find a specialist and therefore your chances of being diagnosed and treated with it in the right way are significantly decreased. Things are on the rise now though, because of teletherapy and the ability to have relationships with therapists all over the country and uh, people can get now cross-licensed into other areas and see people and provide specialty care. So it doesn't matter if you're in a state that doesn't have a really major city or if you're in a rural area, you now have access via teletherapy to experts who understand obsessive compulsive disorder and the treatment to help people who have it.